fun. Okay, good morning still. Today we're going to be doing end roots. I know you don't know what that is yet, but you will. End roots and operations on those roots. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Okay, gentlemen. Yeah! Ladies. Uh, gentlemen. Yeah! Ladies. Uh, nice range. <laughs> <laughs> we got a laugher. <laughs> water, water. Okay. I appreciate it. I know you know what this is. We start with things that are easy and then move to things that are challenging. That's a good concept. <laughs> what is this? Seven. Seven. Okay. You wanna you wanna throw an eye in it? No. What's this shape thing he called? Root. 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 root? Square, root. square root. It's called the square root. It's called the square root. So, it's called the square root. Who can define in their own words what square root is? A number times a number equals. A number times itself, itself. pretty much. Good. A number times itself. So, what times itself is 49? Seven. Seven. What times itself is 81? Nine. 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 X. X. X to, the third. X to the third. Yes. You add the exponents. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, now X to the three times X to the three equals X to the six. Correct. Why what? Why would that be two X to the six? Because two X to the six. What, what do you mean two X to the six? Right, Square root of eighty-one is done by itself. Right. So that's nine. Square root of X to the six is done by itself. That's X cubed. Okay. So. That goes x cubed is there. Okay, so that's square root. It doesn't stop at square root. Today we're going to broach. If this is square root, what do you think this is called? Third root. Cube root. Cube, cube root. root. Third root works too. Okay. Cube root. Cube root. One time. What times what times what? Exactly. So I was, that was going to be. It's going to be my question. <laughs> so say that the the idea behind cube root is what? One. Something times another thing. Times the same thing times itself. the same thing. Same thing times itself three, three, times. three times. As seen here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice, right? Okay, you can go away now. Uh, maybe I'm my time itself. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So, good. Something times itself times itself again equals 27x cubed. So, what times what times what is 27? 3. 3. 3x. Three. 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 What times what times what is x cubed? X. x. That's it. Right? That's the main concept. <coughs> That's the main concept. Here comes Mo. Mo. Cube root of negative 64. <laughs> x to the 6. six I do why it's still in the way. Mission not six accomplished. Or six? Which one, sorry? Is that negative 6? Negative 64. Right. Oh, so negative 64. Four. Yes. So, so what do you think? No. No, think about it. What times what times what is negative 64? Negative 4. Is that cool? Yeah. Negative 4. Uh, oh, since it's cubed, you can use negative 4 x I hear a lot of discussion of this topic. That's wonderful. What are, what are there any questions? Negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is negative 64. Yes. So you don't have to take the i out? No, i is not relevant here. Okay. Meaning, you can have cube roots of negative numbers. Okay. Can you have square roots of negative numbers? No. no. Because when a negative times a negative... Would be a positive. So you can't have a negative square root. Exactly. So with that, okay, let's also do this. What's the cube root? Now the negative 64 is done. What's the cube root of? X to the six, yes sir. X squared. X squared. X squared. X squared. Questions about this? X squared. All right, so here's something that you never knew your whole life. It was here hiding. Here's cube root. There's actually a, a two there hiding all along. Square root. Cube root. What's after cube root? Fourth root. There, n. Yay. Two, three, four, five. It could be anything you want. Oh, n being a number. Oh. n being a number, yeah. So we've done square root, done cube root. So, oh, get out. Fourth root, one problem. 81. 
Hmm, what do you got? Three. I want to do eight. X to the 8, Y to the 5. Yeah, I heard some people saying the answers. Think about it, think about it. I need you to see your calculator. Boy, how do you do Y to the 5? There is an end through it button in the calculator. Oh, really? Yeah, there's an end through it, I believe. Three. I'll, I'll talk about it with you later, not right now. Okay, so what Three. times what times what times what is 81? Three. 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 Very good. So that's three. X to the what? Again, four times times itself is x to the eight. X squared. Very nice. Okay, now y to the five. What do we do? You pull out y and leave one. You pull out one y. Very good. So basically, could we agree that the fourth root of y to the five is the same as the fourth root? Of y to the four times y. Oh yeah. Yeah. And now, the fourth root of y to the four is what? Y. Y. Just y. Correct. So this is just y. This y to the four is taken care of. The fourth root of y is. Y. No. The fourth root. Y. The fourth root of y. Yeah, I'm testing. The fourth root of y is the fourth root of y. We can't do anything. So we write the fourth root. Of what? Okay. You simplify what you can, and you leave what you can't. Okay. okay. I can leave that for sure. Uh, there was one quick one I didn't want, I didn't get to do. What's that? It's a little fraction exposure. What times what times what is one two five on the bottom? Negative. No oh, negative. One five. No. One fifth. One fifth. Um, one fifth. Please. What time? What number times itself three times? We'll get a question if you have it. What number times itself three times? One over, one over five. Question, please. Only question is that's not y to the fourth, right? It's it's, it's the correct. This fourth goes to the yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. So we're gonna go over one more thing. So we've done nth roots. Next is. Operations. Operations. And then there's cheering. And then there's cheering. <laughs> you can do that now. Woo! Is that how you guys cheer? <laughs> I just feel like there's ghosts in here. <laughs> okay. Here's the rule. I'm going to write this down. If you know this rule, you know how to do all the end root operations. You have to understand crucial importance times 4 square root of 5, and then 3 square root of 5. I cannot express how important it is if you want to be successful in this stuff to understand the difference between these two. If you understand the difference between these two, no matter what, no matter how hard the problem is, you have to follow these basic rules for all operations on radicals. All right. So what do you think? When you multiply square roots or radicals, what happens? They multiply. They multiply. So what multiplies? The outside. outside. The, four. the outside. The three and the four multiply? Yes. Twelve. Making twelve. 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 Root five. Square root of five times square root of five. 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 It's five. Square root of twenty-five. Square root of twenty-five. The square root. Okay. Okay. So the square root of root five. Or excuse me. Root five times root five is the square root of 25. Which is 5. Which is 5. So this is 12 times 5, which is 60. 60. Keep in mind, any root times itself is just the number inside. Okay. So what is root 3 times root 3? 3. Root 9, which is 3. Okay. Good. What is root 4 times root 4? Four? 4. 4. What is root x times root x? X. x. Okay, keep that in mind. You forgot now, what about... Wait, what was that? You forgot the fruit. Oh, yeah. What is root strawberry times root strawberry? Oh, okay. Strawberry with no roots. Okay. So, what is the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a root. <laughs> yes. What if we have 7... And then square root of 5? What do you think? Or square root of 10. What do you think about his suggestion? What? He is suggesting 7 root 5. 
Yeah. Yeah. You could do that, or you should do that. Concur. Concur? Concur. Any disagreements? Any nays? <laughs> You're right. All right. This is combining like terms. Square root of five and square root of five are like terms. So this is seven square root of five. Oh, oh. no couple of questions. Okay. Yes, question? Um, okay. La. Two questions. Please. Thank you. One, can you do three times the square root of five plus four times the square root of six? Times the square root of five. That's my, my first question. Can you find the um, answer to three square root square root five on the second one? Can you find that answer and the second answer and then add them together? Well, what is this answer? There's this, it's in simplest form, okay. right? But what I want to build on... No, like if we put in decimal form. Oh, let's avoid decimals. Oh, okay, fine. We're simplifying. But could you do that? <coughs> yeah, this sure. mathematically it would, would be the same as this in decimal form okay. plus this in and decimal And then my other question is, let's say they weren't like terms. Good, that was what I was building on. Oh, okay. So 3 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 6. Can these be combined? No. 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 Yeah. A big joke I have is someone asks me something and I'm like, no. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Yeah. Good one, Phil Jackson. Yeah. Soul Jackson? Phil Jackson. Oh, Phil. Phil does that. Anyway, these can be combined. Simplest form. Simplest form. All right. Are they gonna so, have questions like that? Just so you won't be able to do anything. That's all. Yay. Let's do one example. Perfect. One example. It wouldn't be six root. Okay. Okay. It would not be six root anything. These are not like terms, so we can't add. Good. I'm glad you're thinking out loud. Very nice. Do you think out loud in your life? Yes, I do. Yeah. Have you come to any good conclusions? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not, not recently. <laughs> All right, good. And then five plus. Okay. Does anyone recall what the issue is here when you have square roots on the bottom? Are we allowed to have square roots on the bottom? No. No. We need to what's called rationalize the denominator. I don't like that stuff, like that crazy talk, but that's what it's called. We need to make sure there's no more square roots on the bottom. What do we multiply top and bottom by to get rid of? Three. Five minus. Reciprocal. Reciprocal. Not necessarily reciprocal. Five minus. Five minus the square root of three. We call it like its evil twin. Its difference of squares counterpart. So we multiply five minus the square root of three over the same thing. It has to be the same on the top and the bottom. Thus, this fraction is the equivalent to 1, so we're not changing anything. All right, now we have to FOIL. FOIL, FOIL, FOIL. Let's do it. Here we go. Following the rules that we did last time. Volunteer to FOIL the top parts. We'd love to hear it. Oh, you FOIL the bottom Yes, too? and the bottom, and the top. Hmm, I got them. Yes. Okay. Ready? Ready, go. Five. Five. Um, plus. Oh wait, minus, minus one root three. Root three. Uh, good. Root three minus. Minus. Five root three. Five root three. Very good. Plus, um, root nine. Which is three. Three. Over. Over. Keep going. Love it. Okay. Um, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Minus root fifteen. No. Oh wait, five root three. Sorry. Minus five root three. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good, Plus you're great. Five root three. Plus 5 root 3. Plus 5 root 3. cancel each other out. Yeah. And then, um, minus 3. Minus 3. Questions? Ooh. Questions. That was four, four operations, two foiling problems. Yes. Yes. Why do you get rid of the 3, the square root 3 at the end? This thing? Yeah. What's square root of 3 times square root of 3? Nine. Square root of 9. Oh. Three. Which is three. There it is. There's your three. Okay, good. Now, remember the rules that we talked about at the beginning, or right before this. What combines? And what combines here? Um, five and three. Five and three. Yeah. What's five and three make? Eight. Two. Zero. Five, five plus, plus three. Plus three. Eight. So eight. Right? Eight. What else combines? 
Uh, now 25 and the negative five, yeah. five and a third, or negative five and a third is a third. Negative, negative no, no, the top, the top, the top mm -hmm. minus. Negative, negative five. And Richie Jans. Yeah. Root three and negative three. five root three. Root three. This is a one. Oh. What's negative root three negative minus root three. five root three negative six is root. negative six root three. Didn't I say that no matter how complicated it gets, it just follows those rules. All right, so stick to those rules, you'll be okay. So that's negative six root three. Bottom, what combines? 25 and minus 3. What does that make, class? 22. 22. Minus 4 root 3. What's negative root 3, negative 5 root 3, plus 5 root 3? They cancel. Cancel. Oh, I meant. They cancel. Which is why we multiply by this counterpart so that the roots will cancel. Leaving no roots on the bottom. Is this done? Yes. No. Yeah? There's no roots on the bottom. Yes, there are no roots on the bottom, that's correct, but... Oh, it's not finished properly. It's not finished, keep going. What do we do? What do we divide by? Divide or multiply? Multiply both sides by... Divide by... Simplify. Two. Simplify by a factor of two. Yeah. Good. So two oh. goes into eight, six, and twenty-two. Very good. Two goes into eight how many times? Four. 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 Two goes into six how many times? Three. 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 Two goes into there? Eleven. 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 Here's our answer. Alright, good job. Eleven. Four minus three root three over what? Eleven. Eleven. So this problem simplifies <laughs> to this answer. There's something very peaceful about solving something and knowing it's right. Okay. Thank you. That was really fun. That was short and sweet. How long was that? How long? How long? How long? How long? 16, 17. Okay. Push any subject? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to do it in math? Yeah, math. Yay, math.